don't know, we offer customized window solutions. We offer wallpaper. We offer uh, blinds, uh, curtains, folding doors, customized pillows. Uh, most of our products, all our products are actually customized. Um, we have collaborated with international brands such as Swarovski, Armani, Versace, uh, Salty, <coughs> uh, Missoni, Roberto Cavalli, uh, brands, international brands from around the world, and a lot of local brands as well. Uh, we provide an end-to-end -end service, uh, so that means we take measurements, um, we manufacture, we deliver and install, all in our factories that are present throughout uh, the GCC as well. Um, we have 30 branches, we are operating in 11 countries. Uh, we just wanted to have this workshop to introduce, hello. Uh, we just wanted to have this workshop to introduce you to, to the brand, to what we do, familiarize yourself more with our products. And if you have any questions at all, please let me know or anyone else from our team would uh, be very happy to help. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good morning everyone! How are you? Thank you for coming. As you can see, we have a really nice small select group that we invited here today because we wanted to make it more intimate. People who are aware of design, about home living, who are either interior designers, who are trendsetters, people building their homes at the moment. So we wanted to keep it intimate and cozy and that's why we really pushed for the Instagram Live so that the people at home could watch us uh, as we're going. So for me, I would love if you asked questions. Hi, how are you? <laughs> uh, if you wanted to ask questions or anything like that, because it could help the people who are sitting at home a lot, because it's not as easy for them to ask the questions. So any questions you have during the presentation today, please just either raise your hand, let's make it casual, let's, uh, not formal. We all kind of, I know most of you here today, so let's make it nice and casual. So this, uh, my relationship for Sadar has gone on way longer than I've met the team. Uh, I was born and raised in Oman, so for me, Sadar is something I grew up with. You know, uh, it's, I think if many of you are from the GCC, it's a brand that is like a, for us all a homegrown brand that our parents went to, grandparents went to, I am now going to, and it's evolved a lot over the years. So they have gone from fabrics and curtains to customization, as not I'm saying, wallpapers, a lot of big international brands are part of Sadar now. And that is something that not all of us are aware of. You know, for me, I've always associated Sadar with curtains, yeah. you know? So I think it's the same for most of you, that you need curtains, you go to Sadar, right? So when I started working with them on a project, they were like, oh, have you checked out our wallpaper range? I was like, Wallpaper? You do wallpaper? You know, and I get that question a lot, either from clients or from people on Instagram or people you meet at events. Where can I go for a nice wallpaper? Where can I go for quality wallpaper? And when I saw the range that Sadar carries, it's amazing. So not only do you have the Sony's and the Armani's, Versace, if you want to go bold and big, they have like this crazy Versace wallpaper, like multicolored and everything but they also have the very subtle neutrals and that's something we're going to be talking about first. That's one of the first trends I want to talk about. One of the trends that we've been hearing about is that 2023 is going to move away from white. You know, we had this whole, like everything is white. The couch is white, the wall is white, the marble is white. It's a trend I love. It's something I love. So when I heard for 2023 that this white trend is moving out, it's something from 2020 to 2022 and people are missing color I have like this mixed feeling about it so this is something I wanted to ask all of you as well that are you over the all white white yeah. or you're over it yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're all over it I'm not over it I'm not over it I'm the odd one out you know color I you know I think it also depends on what country you live if you're talking about colder countries you're talking about you know uh, Europe, you're talking about the States, you're talking about if you live in Canada and it snows like most of the year, I would understand that white is like, I'm over it. I'm like, I love that it's, you know, we live in a country where, okay, we've had a great little cold winter now, but in general, the sun is shining, it's fresh, it's white. So for 2023, we're, the direction of the trend is going more towards, okay, we like the white, but let's bring in 
A little bit of birds. It also depends on the area. It depends it, on the area. Uh, behind the sea or it's a desert. Some, uh, exactly. Example, me, I'm living, it's, uh, facing the desert. Okay. Okay. So what I'm mm -hmm. going to choose should be something matching. Matching in that way. So that, that way you want to match in yeah. some earthy tones, yeah. some natural colors. So that is something that we talked about here as well. That, okay, you can start staying away from white and it's talking about Okay, the curved sofa is still a trend. The curved sofa is something that I love, but I don't incorporate it so much. You know, when I see it in the stores, I'm like, oh, it's so cool, it's so nice. But then most of my clients, and I don't know how it is for you, they love the curved sofa, but how practical is it? It's more for like the entrance lobby that nobody really sits in, or, you know, like a very formal setup. But the curved sofa is evolving. You know, a lot of stores I've been going to lately the L-shaped sofa, I saw a couple of L-shaped sofas this week that are L-shaped curved. And I was like, I love it. I love it because it's, it's blending together practical with the trend. So the L-shaped sofa is a trend that's still continuing, but it's evolving. It's changing a little bit to become more approachable, more usable. And the round feeling overall is staying for 2023. But less white on white, less boucle, I love boucle. I don't know how many of you have used it. I have mixed reviews on how easy it is to keep clean because when I was Googling it first, they were like, oh, boucle is very easy to maintain. It's very easy to keep clean. It's not. I'm sorry. I don't know. Maybe I'm using the wrong product. I didn't feel like it was. So one way to kind of move away from white but you still kind of like the white vibe is to incorporate fabrics and colors that have a little bit of more earthy tones, creams, mixing the creams, mixing the materials, adding a little bit of metallic to the natural palette. This grass cloth is something I love. I've loved it for years. I actually had this exact one in my home, in my previous home, and I miss it. I'm like, I want, I couldn't find it anymore. And I came here, I was like, I found it. So it's a really beautiful wallpaper because it has a metallic white background. Then it has this natural kind of grass cloth feel so it gives you that little bit of luxury but it gives you that like neutral soft palette bringing the inside outside in so this is a fabric and it goes so well with the white so if you're like okay my furniture is already white or your client's furniture is already white but they want to move away from the trend you can still bring in the pillows the accessories the throws change up the curtains add in more kinds of linen textures so here are linens that it works well with still that white theme but you're not going white on white on white on white so that is something that i feel when the whole white trend was taking place i do love it but not all whites match sometimes the white is bluish sometimes the white is greenish you know so this is a great way to incorporate a more neutral tone a more neutral feel this is actually something I really love. And to get that more natural texture inside. So blending the nature with the velvet and everything like that. Then by talking more about geometric wallpaper and incorporating it into a white environment. I've lost my page now, oh here it is. There's this beautiful wallpaper book here that has kind of like bridging together the white with all the neutrals and all the texture. So you're kind of adding in a natural feel and texture. It's not crazy geometric. It's not something you're gonna get bored of. It works beautifully like here in the bedroom. That it can be really subtle, the little hints of gold, the little hints of brass. And adding in those metals is a big trend for 2023. Just having those little touches of gold. I'm starting to move away from the gold gold. I don't know how it is for you and kind of almost like a, it's like a white gold, like, I want to say white gold, but not silver, yeah. you know, like a whitish gold or even like a brassy white gold. So I feel like in stores and things that, you know, places we go to, that yellow gold is like slowly moving away and bringing in that more earthy natural, the more natural gold, let's say. 